Terrace, Louvre Museum, Richelieu Wing, second floor, room 14. This representation of four shepherds in front of a tomb was created by Nicolas Poussin around 1640. Its symbolic meaning was transparent to man for over three centuries, but during the 20th century, it was completely lost. In the 60s, its image started to be looked at with intrigue. Maybe it was hiding a secret. Confronting the gesture of a shepherd with an ancient engraving, Franco Bellini identifies him with Arpocrates, god of the esoteric tradition. Gerard Desade identifies the grave with a sepulcher that really existed a few kilometers from Rennes Chateau. Its engraving, Et in Arcadia Ego, appears on the coat of arms of the Grand Master of the Priory of Sion. Felipe de Cherisse hides the information on a parchment. Poussin holds the interpretive key to the enigma. Henry Lincoln scrutinizes under the paint with x-rays, discovering that it is based on a pentacle. Lincoln uses the painting like a geographical map, discovering the existence of a huge star in the Rennes Le Chateau region. David Wood locates ancient religious structures in correspondence to the vertices of the pentacle. Focusing on the woman, he identifies in a geographic area the vagina of the goddess. Lincoln connects Poussin's pentacle with the movement of the planet Venus, symbol of Mary Magdalene. Deanna Emerson finds in some NASA pictures a pentacular mountain on the surface of Mars. According to Marcuzio Isaro, the Templars should have known the secrets of the Martian pentacle. Why would they have otherwise decided to reproduce five aliens on their seal? Andrews and Schellenberger identify the mountain on the background with Cardot, in whose heart the body of Jesus Christ is buried. From an anagram on the engraving is obtained in Latin, Be gone, I conceal the secrets of God. How do we explain the whirlwind multiplication of interpretations? It is a modern mania of one to analyze paintings like they are puzzles. Rejecting the non-linguistic nature of art, every work becomes a problem to solve. But treasures, templars, and geometries are only good to hide us from the crude reality. A shadow that cuts on the sepulcher, an incompatible shape with the arm of the shepherd, the one of a scythe, an explicit call to the human condition. The truths that the esoterists try so desperately to deny. The idea that one day we will die.